guys? It's your girl C. Hey boy. And we're back with another video. Today we will be touching on relationship topics. But before I say anything else, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and definitely get down in them comments. Hit the bell notification to get notified every single time we post another video. So, we are going to be touching on topics that you guys sent in to us on my social media at SexyC329. It will be posted down below. Um, so, we're going to keep you guys completely anonymous. We're going to read your question out and we are going to give our opinion, perspective, advice. Now, we're just going to issue a disclaimer. We are in no way judging. We are in no way, you know, giving advice that you must follow. We are just giving our perspective and we are not perfect. We just... Two sides, one story. So, without any more delays, let me get your question up. Because I was taking a photo on Snap, so I wasn't ready. But, um... The first question is, oh yeah, but before I get into any question, I really, really want to say shout out to those of you that sent in questions. We have so many topics here. Let me go on and on with videos. So thank you so much for following me on social media, sending in your, um, sending in your questions, subscribing to our channel, and just being like an active subscriber. Like that's, that's lit. Like we really do appreciate that. So shout out to all of you who sent something in and keep on coming. So now I'm going to start. So the first question is, you ready? All right. The first question is, do you think your partner asking you to go half on everything is a turn off? Yes. Absolutely. I absolutely think that is a turn off. I think it is unattractive. I think like I'm be looking at you sideways like dead ass. Like I'll be looking at I think I'll be looking at you stink in the house, like right. like yes. I, you grow resentment. Right. Yeah, like we can't be doing the half on everything and then like do, do you like sir or whoever the hell you are, do you feel comfortable asking for half? Like that's a little crazy to me. Like, I don't want to, like, show off. And I don't want you guys to think, like, I'm lying. Because I'm going to always keep it 100 with you guys. The good, the bad, the ugly. I'm going to just get it for me. But honestly... But this don't go for y'all chicks out there who talking about, yeah, I'm a boss, man. Before y'all have a man, y'all big bosses. Now y'all got a man, y'all tucking y'all tail. Like, okay, no. Go first, somewhere. No, hold up. First of all, no. Um... This is 2021, and yes, we are bosses, and it's not even that. Like, just because I'm a boss, you're still a man. Like, you expect, are you, okay, because he just got on my nerves, y'all. Are you going to, are you going to um clean the house, do the laundry, like, I constantly? Can't, I no, can't. you can do it, mm -hmm. but is that a role that you're willing to take on permanently? You can't, you can't ask me that, because I don't, I don't mind. You, you know this. I don't mind. I could, I could do my own thing. I could handle it. It doesn't matter whether or not. We're not asking. I'm not asking if you could do your own no, thing. Listen, I know you listen, could listen, do listen, your listen, own listen. thing because before I met you, you were living on your own, which means you were washing your own clothes or whatever the hell you was doing. Right. What I'm asking is when you're in a relationship with someone and you live together, you do, if your expectations of that person is to, you do set roles, gender roles in a sense. Mm -hmm. I do expect you to put gas in the car and go for the oil change. Mm -hmm. Not saying I can't do it, right, but I expect right, right. you to do it. So that's my question. So, you so, expect me to do laundry. Yes, you could wash clothes. I'm not saying you can't. Mm -hmm. But what the hell? You look kind of look at it like, what are you here for if you're still doing all the like duties? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, no, it's definitely it's um he he sh ain't that half half shit that. Yeah, like, I don't think it's cool. And, like, like I, like, I was about to say, like, I don't want to, like, show off or anything or act like I'm trying to style on anyone. But, honestly, we don't, we don't live like that. Yeah, like, we don't. we don't even talk. We don't even speak on it. It's kind of just, like, a roll with it. Like, you already know what's up. Like, I already know Troy's going to hold it down 
by any means always and if in the event he can't do something that's going to be communicated to me like up front where i kind of know what i'm getting into mm -hmm. it's never going to be like oh um rent is due and, every and, month and, and, and not, he's asking to go half right and, and not only that but it's, it's times where you know i might have a bill and i'm like yo see look um i'm about to send you this money pay this bill for me and she'll be like yo i already did it don't worry about it and I'm like, oh shit. Right. You know, it's nothing to talk about. She just did that. Right. And you know then there's times that we're doing basic tasks like food shopping right. and I'm jumping out the car and just jumping out. We're not even saying nothing. It's like I reach and I'm getting out and he's on some, yeah, you want money? And I'm like, oh no. I'm get, if I'm I handed, have it, right. I got it. Like, I'm handing her my card and she, she already done swipe. Yeah, you know? I just feel like, especially if you live in one household, like what is you like, really yeah. splitting? Yeah, like, like everything that no, come in yeah, here. We we specifically, if you're bringing it specifically to our relationship, I don't think, no, because honestly speaking, you're the breadwinner. So like the things that you take care of without asking me for a dime, leaves me room to spend my check on bullshit. <laughs> So I think if we're going half, it's taken from me. You're taking from me what you don't take from me when you cover what you cover. Okay. Like I have the petty bills, like the freaking Wi-Fi and the, what's that called? The heat or whatever, the electricity and stuff like that. If I was doing half on that, half on that, half on the rent, half, I don't have wiggle room to buy like a hundred and thing a hundred and one things on Amazon but with you taking the slack I'm able to I mean not the slack with you pulling the weight and me taking the little slack whatever of the little stuff I have more room to like bullshit around with my money like get my hair done do my nails like for no damn reason at the hell all and so for us, I think it's different, and I think it depends on the couple. I think it depends on who's the breadwinner. And 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 a lot of people that guys, people that may, could be watching this right now, could be like, oh, so 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 he's taking a loss. No, really, I'm not taking no loss because, like I said, there's there's times where I don't even ask her to take care of something. And it's already taken care of. Yeah, like don't get it you twisted. Know, like, like I pull my like, weight. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like she could, she could. It, it's, it's, it's been, it's been times. It's, it's been times where her weight could total up to the weight I'm pulling. You better tell it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you know, wow. not often, but you know what I'm saying. So, right. And it's not spoken about. Like it's not talked about. Like yeah, we might, we might. The things that's talked about is yo, damn. Shit a little tight right now. Shit a right. little low right now. Damn, you know what? Yo, we can't do this because we gotta put down for this that's coming up. You know, shit like that is yeah. spoken about. Like real but shit. But like to be obligated to come in here and say, yo, half half. You know, like like I call up, talking about that. It's crazy. Before I was before I was paying the rent, just like money order or or homeboy pickup. Before we even started doing, doing it the online, online payments. Mm -hmm. I called up because I didn't understand how to set it up, right? And I called the lady and I'm like, yo, look, man, I'm trying to set this up. And she was like, yo, you paying your half or? And I'm like, huh? Like, right, which is so crazy. Yeah, I never knew that. Yeah, that's crazy. She said that. But you me. know what? With you saying that, I do notice now, like, even when you go out to eat and stuff, they, they used to put the literally, I feel like when we first started dating, they used to put the bill in front of you. I feel like they put it, like, right here on the table mm -hmm. in, the, in the center, like, it's for anybody to grab. I feel like it's just being, I don't know. I feel like it's because women have grown so much mm -hmm. in like, you know, right. entrepreneurship and so many things right. that society itself is starting to push like that half, half shit. But I don't give a damn what society's pushing. <laughs> the half, half thing is not for me. The only thing we go in half on is a baby. And we did that. And that's about the only thing I'm doing half on. Everything else, like, this is not Burger King have it your way. Like, no. You're going to take care. You're going to be the man and do man shit. And I'm going to be the female and I'm going to do female shit. I'm going to go do the laundry and I'm going to clean the house. And I'm going to do all those things. And I'm going to chip in. And I'm going to always have your back. Right. Like, when you fall short, like, I'm literally, like, right there that you couldn't even. I don't give you room to trip. Right. And I think that's how it should be. As far as, like, going half on everything and who... I don't know what you mean when you say everything, because I would really want to know, like, 
How deep is everything? Like, if, is he? Is it bills? Is he coming home with receipts? Like, yo, I, I bought, I bought <laughs> ju- two, four boxes of juice. You gotta give me breakfast too. <laughs> like, yeah, like how deep no, is this? No, 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 listen, listen, listen. I'm definitely not the type. I'm not trying to shit on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have their different situations, and you always have to do what works for you. Right. I'm just basing it off of how I feel. This is my personal feeling on on how I think should it should be. You know what so I mean? what so you think that I don't want to offend. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't know their situation. I'm always gonna keep it like that. It's always you know what I mean. I personally, me, and and and, and a lot of people I know believe the people I keep around me. They believe the same things that I believe. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know about. It. Yeah, I, I think ain't styling on nobody. Maybe, maybe, maybe they they have a plan. Maybe are y'all saving together? You know what I mean? Yeah, y'all have a plan. Y'all put something to the side and say, Yo, boo, look, we are gonna put this down to the that side. Part. We are gonna put this down to the side, but we, you know, we gotta half half everything. Yeah, like are y'all pinching pennies for a greater cause, right. or is this just a whole lot of pinching like of the that. pennies, like? I like that. Hey, you know, I be coming with the little slogans every now and again or whatever the yeah, case is. You know, you know how I do when I'm doing man, it. But, but it definitely depends. And, I, like, you know, I don't know how severe, like, the word everything kind of, like, threw me. You see, I keep bringing it up. The word, <coughs> sorry, the word everything kind of, like, threw me off because I don't know how everything you're going. Like, everything could mean, like, everything. Like, bills. Groceries, like, hey, you want to buy food outside? Half, mm. like, that's like, if it's like that, that's like extreme. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Yo, yo, cash at me for this DoorDash. Get, like, come on now, like that's that's a little too much. So I don't know how. Um, but regardless of whatever it is, the question was asking if we feel like it's a turn off, and I do. I feel like we both feel like it is a turn off. Yeah, and, and you know, if the man is not the breadwinner, do you feel like mm. the woman should a good one. carry the weight? Okay, if he's not the breadwinner, first of all, he need to go out and win some bread. Like, come on now, like, what you gonna be doing? You gonna you a man? Like, I'm gonna need you to get that. Like, you see the fire burning right here? I'm going to need that to be up under you because I need you to go out and get it. Like, make it happen, bro. Because, yeah, I'm making more... I'm not saying this is our situation because we already said that he's the breadwinner in our relationship. But if I was the breadwinner in our relationship, like... I need you to beat your feet. Like, come but, on. Yeah. Like, make yeah. something happen. Like, that 9 to 5 is not doing it for me the nine to five is not doing it for you. no oh excuse me i don't mean that the nine to five is not doing it for me i'm saying if that's like all you're doing and it's not even like coming up to and i'm really putting out all the bills i don't know if you got to get two jobs like i'm not saying there's anything wrong with a nine to five like i work right, a nine to five now, right now now, now now i could i could i could do you see where i'm going with it i'm I, not saying to like go to by no means I'm saying to go do anything like illegal or anything. That's not where I'm going with it. I'm just saying as a man, you need to step up to the plate as far as if you got to go back to school. Like that's what I mean when I say the 9 to 5. If, if that job or that profession is only paying at this rate, mm-hmm. go get something else that's going to pay you at a higher rate. I'm not telling you to go do nothing like illegal and go get arrested because I want my man home. Mm-hmm. But... Go do something else. Like if you're working at McDonald's, but Walmart is like paying more. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying nothing wrong with McDonald's, but it's wrong for our house. What's the, what you bringing in on that is not doing enough. So go get the higher pay. Like don't stay stagnant. Okay. Grow and show me that you're growing. I'm not saying that you'll ever maybe get to my level, but at least I could see like the effort where I could also push you. Mm-hmm. But don't sit there doing that like. That whatless shit. <laughs> and if if you made a hundred thousand and I made thirty thousand, right? Mm-hmm. You'll be you you would you wouldn't be doing the things that I'm doing now. I feel like if I made a hundred thousand and you made thirty thousand, then we would be putting our two big ass heads together and coming up with a plan on how we could make that your little bit and my a lot 
bigger for both of us. Like, if you're who I want to be with, mm -hmm. and I see, like, a long life with you, mm -hmm. you're going to bring, I'm going to put, I'm probably going to put up more, which is no problem, but you're going to invest a little that you can, and we're going to come up with something, and we're right. going to yeah, make that, that something that, that we call ours. Now, you don't, now you're not 30000 no more, because you just invested that into this, right. and now we just grew this, and now we both got this. That's what we need to be doing, but don't be sitting there like that's that's what I mean when I say don't be sitting there doing a nine to five with no plan of no growth. Like mm -hmm. you should be coming to me on some, yo, I'm thinking about this business idea. Like what you think about this? Let's put some money into that. Let's see what it do. And then when it do what it do, guess what? You're not worth thirty thousand no more. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. I think that's the plan. Like, isn't that the goal in relationships to like be a power couple? Like everybody want to be. This person and this person and this person and this person. Like, I just want to be Cynthia and Troy on another level. Absolutely. So, you know, and I don't, like, I, we're not perfect and I don't want to make it seem like we got it all figured out because we don't. Like, mm -hmm. you know, shit happens. Like, shit is crazy, but. We're just keeping it real. we just, just keeping it real. Like, if you, if this, you're sending in this question and this is an issue for you, I feel like, first of all, have a conversation with that man or that woman. Yeah. And. See what y'all could do to come together to make that little bit a lot. Right. Because it's, it's money out here. Like, it's money out here. Like, people is really coming up with stuff all 2020 and 2021 and, like, really. Going up. Take it so, up. like, come on. Like, get find something. there. You got something that you could do to make some money. And it's okay to try and fail. Or you could try and that shit could blow up. So, just take the chance. And see what it do. All right, so overall, half half shit that. Yeah, overall though, for all that we were saying, for all that yin yang was saying ish shit, um, <laughs> that's dead. We not doing the half half thing. We're just like not fucking with that. So. Right, and you know, growing up, growing up, raised by a single mom and all that, like, mama love took care of everything. You know what I'm saying? Until we was old enough to to. Be able to provide and, and, about my parents too. To, to be able to help out my mom dukes and all that you know what i mean so that's where that comes from from with me i see mom mom my mom's do it by herself so it's like as a man and and, and being a kid seeing that she needed help you know what i mean seeing that damn it, it, it this not it's not supposed to look like that you feel me so Growing up, I just try to take as much responsibility right. with my own. You know and I mean? since he want to talk about his mama, I want to talk about my parents too. So I just want to say, like, as far as my parents, I was raised in a two-parent home. Mm -hmm. And I have, well, that obviously means I have both mom and dad. And um, my dad was the bread breadwinner growing up. And I have three sisters. And we, my dad was a very great provider to his children and his wife my mom she didn't need for nothing and neither did we like and i feel like that's the, what i grew up seeing so that's of course what i aspire to have like she was taken care of so i need to be taken care of and she was able to focus on us and be a mom and be present where we needed her to be present because she didn't have to worry about all these other things that us women these days stress about yeah but don't another thing with that don't forget, like a a, a a a bread was probably like a dollar fifty. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you get a slice of bread. Okay. For $1. Yes, I know times have changed and things are super expensive, mm -hmm. and it nowadays it takes two incomes to like get stuff moving. But I just want to say, like, shout out to my parents because my dad definitely did set the example that he's the man and he needs to go out and get it, and she needs to just do what. You know live her little pampered life and she's also proven that you know when she got it she looks out for him she gives where she needs to give and do what she needs to do and i feel like that's the right way that things should be done he was he never asked her like on no half and half or whatever i'm i'm not saying like it's still the same right now i'm just saying that's <laughs> what i grew up <laughs> just saying just keep i told you i'm just keeping it real all right, so now we're going to jump into another question. Um, do you think two people 
in different statuses in their life can make it. Of course. Absolutely. It's not like rocket science, like definitely. Like a lot of couples are not on the same status, like a lot. Right. Like that's actually I do definitely think that two people on different status statuses can definitely, definitely make it. Like I feel like whoever's on the higher platform status, whatever you want to call yourself, whoever's up there, you should be if that's that if that's that man or that woman that you wanna be with, you need to be pulling that person up. I'm not saying they're gonna be on your level, or maybe they maybe it's possible they can, maybe they could surpass you or whatever the case is, but if you have the room you obviously have the room to or the knowledge to pull that person up. So use that. Don't be critical and use that to get that person up. Like if that's your person, then bring them up. So whatever it is that you need them to do, if you see and don't get it twisted like sometimes people stay in a certain stay at a certain level and stay at a certain status because they don't know anything else mm -hmm. and sometimes they need someone to tell them like yo why don't you go to school for this or why don't you go take this test to be certified in this or whatever the, whatever the case may be that those are just examples but if you sometimes they need that person to tell them like there's many things that he has told me like why don't you do this or why don't you do that Sometimes I need to just hear that. So communication is definitely key and you definitely need to speak to whomever, to speak to your person and make it clear on, you know, where you want to see you guys as a couple, what level you want to see y'all on and how are y'all going to get there? Like, what are you going to bring to the table and what am I going to bring to the table? Because we both got to bring something. Right. And let's see, like, Feel like they don't want to help a man that make less than them. I mean, times have definitely changed. Like it's twenty twenty one. Like women can women is bossing up. Like y'all men were always ahead of women, and now we done caught up. Y'all need to keep evolving. Like y'all y'all was so all high and mighty. So what what y'all got going on? Like keep evolving. But I just think it depends on the person that you with. Also, like. You gotta put your heads together. Yeah, but I, I, I know, I know, females out here they not trying to do that. Like a, a guy, a guy will will get a girl and bring her up, but women ain't trying to do that. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I feel like in this day and age, anybody trying to hear all that noise right now, like we're trying to be taken care of, regardless of how much money I make, how much more money I make than you. Like at the end of the day, every female, I don't give a damn what you say. The boss of the boss, the highest of the highest female, every female wants to be taken care of by a man. Every female wants to feel protected. So a man's role is always going to be a man's role, regardless of status. Mm. But the question was, because we tend to stop rambling, the question was, can you make it? You can absolutely make it if you want to make it. If you don't want to make it, then obviously you're not going to put in the work to make it. So, it's up to you. But if you are in a better position than that other person, and you could pull them up, then pull them up. Absolutely. But if they don't want to be pulled up, or they're not putting forth that effort, or they're not like showing any t type of growth, or trying to get up there with you, then leave that person alone. Just leave them alone. Just keep it moving and... Like I said before, find something that y'all can do together. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. Like, um, like how we doing this right now. Right. You know, this is probably, you know, this is probably... The first thing that we're actually, like, doing, doing together. together as, like, a thing. We've, all, we've obviously... He's obviously giving money, giving me money for like business ventures that I've come up with over the years. But that was him just investing in my stuff and me going off and doing it. But to actually do some, some, something together, this is the first thing we're doing together. And it's it's a vibe. And you guys are going to make it work. Yeah, Because y'all going to like and y'all going to subscribe. So, um, yeah, I think that's important to yeah, find something to do together. Right.
Right. If you have different statuses, you know what I mean? Just find something in, that common. Can, in common that you can do together. And with hard work, dedication, you know, get there. Yeah, it'll pay off. Like, you may have different statuses. And, and we're, not, we're not there. I just, I just know. I just know that this is what we was missing. Like, to get to where we need to get to. Right. It was something together. Instead of her being over there, I'm over here. It was the Yeah, together. we definitely yeah. needed to come together. And we know that we're going to be like larger than life because we were made yeah, for that. We were born for yeah. this and y'all are going to make sure and, that and, we're and, there. And maybe <laughs> it's not just, you know, this particular thing, but just the platform that opened different opportunities right. and keep our mind moving. You know, but but it's not about us, though. Right? right. It's certainly not about us, but we definitely like to give our relationship experiences. So don't think that when we say things about us, we're being, like, you know, big-headed or whatever. We're just, you know, using... We've been together for 13 years, so trust, there are a lot of experiences it's a here. Lot, a lot right here. Trust. Like, so much. Gangsta like Like... You gonna fall out? I'm about to fall out. <laughs> Yo, it is like a lot of experience sitting here in front of you. Like you have no idea. Like we come from so freaking far. Mm -hmm. Like that's my dog. Like that's my dog for real. Like so freaking far. Like we could, we probably need to do like a documentary of like our... Yeah, Cause the way we would unload, like that ain't a documentary. Yeah, that gotta be, we can't just throw that out there. Like. But we definitely like we just wanted to make you guys know that we're not trying to like just talk about ourselves or whatever. We're just speaking through experiences, and it's obviously always easier to relate back to us to explain something to you. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we hope that you know all our information and opinions and perspective. We hope that it was helpful, and in no way are we judging. Or, um, you know, no telling you what to do in your relationship. You know, you live your own relationship like we live our own. Do what's best for you. But, you know, just keeping it real, giving our opinions, spreading some love. Yeah, don't keep your partner in the dark, you know. And, and, and enlighten your partner. Yeah, whatever you have an issue with, then, you know, just speak on it. And just go from there. Like, good, bad, or ugly. Just speak on it and... Grow from it, learn from it, and keep it pushing whichever direction that may be. So, um, with that said, we up out of here. We up out of here. We are done. Um, we will see you guys for the next topic. We have so many. I will continue posting that little thread that I post on my story. Um, so you guys can continue sending stuff in but thank you guys so much for like watching us thank you for supporting and if you're new to this channel welcome and hit the subscribe button and we will see you in our next video